Let's try to sort out this whole Beastman conundrum, shall we? Now, this Beastman right here in chains has killed some humans, but he claims it was um, Scarlet Chorus. Also, look at that villager over there spazzing out. And these villagers over here are pissed because they think he's killed villagers. So, we want to get more info before we do our judgment. Mirza! Do you have anything else? No? Can I talk to any other villagers about this? What can you tell me about the captured beastman? Ah yes, the animal they caught outside the village. Can't wait for that unpleasantness to be dealt with. Covered in blood, lurking about, no doubt to hunt more settlers. Mangled himself in a trap outside the gates. Don't know why the chorus brought him in. Just wipe the beasts out or drive them away. That's what I say. Left Claw would not kill humans unless humans weren't killing. What does warrant killing humans? If bad humans. Sure. But basically, in defense. If loud or annoying. Yeah, sure. Stone suckers don't eat humans. But Kilting Shadows makes no similar promises. That's good to know. Also, that is a creepy face you're making right there. Remain silent. You see? These murdering bees enjoy hunting humans. There's nothing deeper to it. You didn't actually see him kill anyone. Why are you so quick to assume he's guilty? An animal does what an animal does. If there's anything to kill, they will kill it. It's a simple matter of nature. I hear rumors you're judging the matter. If you're of a mind to set the beast free, best do it far from here. If we see him outside the town, we won't hesitate to kill him. Alright, so if I do let him go, I should probably escort him out of the city. Isadora, you got any, uh, thing to weigh in here? No? Hey, Grim, how about you? Why is there a beastman being held here in Halfgate? Back when the town was primarily a market for farmers, stone stalkers worked as beasts of burden. They did the hauling and the plowing mostly, and they did... and they learned not to complain. But then Cairn inside of them with a fool idea to take back the lands of their ancestors, and they've been nothing but raving and violent ever since. Not long ago, that one up there was dragged into town by a group of settlers and chorus. It was covered in blood, a wild thing. We've done our best to look the other way, but seems they won't be satisfied to leave us be. Now they're out hunting us, just beyond our own city gates. You assume he's guilty. How do you know he's, he was hunting a human? He's a beastman. It's what they do. Humans kill humans. That's true. But I'm hoping one of these villagers might have some more info. Also, can I help you out here, Settler? You seem to be in peril. There we go. That is my good deed for the day. Besides helping this beastman, of course. There might be more named people, like Calais over here. No? Calia let me leave. Sweet. Oh yeah, that's the sister. Cool. So that's the sister we helped um, uh, out with the uh, recruitment from the Broad's Brotherhood. And her, her um, brother looking for him. Or for her. Warm greetings. I haven't seen you around. Let me talk about the captured beastman. Would you find him guilty? You bet your britches I would. The beast is guilty as they come. But do you know anything of interest? Hmm. But didn't those settlers disappear while scavenging the plains? Any number of things could have happened to them in such a dangerous landscape. You think they fell or starved? No, the proof don't lie. What proof? You don't have blood tests? You haven't... Check this muzzle for human blood. Wait, do you got any quests for me? Stopping the quakes, sure. 
That might be an issue. Unless the um, Edict of Stones is tied to Cairn. Then if I kill Cairn, maybe I can get rid of the Edict. We'll see. Irene. Spire. Ooh, we have something for sale. Cap of Absorption. That's actually a pretty good cap. Grounding. Plus 10 armor against shock. Ooh, Sigil of Atrophy, Sigil of Vigor. I don't think I have Vigor. Or Atrophy. Wait, I don't have Atrophy? I was sure I had Atrophy. But they're kind of cheap anyway, so let's get them. Thank you. Learn those. Any more named people I can interrogate about this issue? Unfortunately, we killed all the Scarlet Cores. I feel like they were among uh, the people who uh, brought the Beastmen in. Oh, hello. I'll take a rusted iron sword. How about this guy out here? Did he see anything? Guys, join Barrack over here. Aleros. And uh, I don't think this has anything to do with it, no. Let's be off. Where might we find more info? Is there anyone in the uh, houses that can give us more info? I doubt it, but I'll check. Nope, there doesn't seem to be anyone new in the houses, so I guess we're gonna have to make our judgment based on what we already know. Which is, he claims he killed a boar, they have no witnesses, and the um, tribe that he uh, is um, connected to, the stone killer or whatever, don't hunt humans or eat humans. So that's basically all we got. I'm gonna consider him not guilty. Speak with him first. But why do I gain average wrath? I feel like I've done everything according to Tunon's uh, wishes. I've decided to free you and decree your innocence. Leave here quickly. Settlers will kill you if you linger. Really? It's true. Left Claw won't forget help from human. But will the uh, villagers accept this? Seems like they are. Oh! A surprise quake! Yay! Alright! We sorted it out. Cool. And we unlocked a new loyalty ability with Kills in Shadows. Skyblade. Now I did notice that there's an achievement to um, use all of the abilities of each character at least once. So I want to do that. We'll have to use that ASAP while we are still using Kills and Shadows in our party. I'm pretty sure I've used all of the other ones. Maybe not Sirens. But I think the other ones. Now what? How do I get over here? Uh, the tears will shake. Speak to Kitties and Radix. What? Didn't I already talk to them over here? I guess we're going back to Jagged Mosh Shrine. I don't want to betray my alliance. So are you two different in terms of what I can talk to you about? No? But I don't want to gain average fear with Kills and Shadows. And I don't want to betray my alliance either. Uh, uh, I guess we're gonna have to do this. So, you do come with a purpose. I'd be a fool to turn down the aid of a fate binder, especially one so renowned. I will accept any assistance I can acquire in uniting with my Earthshakers at Howling Rock and defending the fort they have erected around Cairn's remains. Oh, so is Cairn dead? There! I have a feeling he's not as dead as people think. 
What the commander is trying to say is we're beholden to have you. Getting to Howling Rock's the easy part. Only it hasn't been that easy. We've been waylaid with Korra's forces and beasts that'll rend you limb from limb sooner than you can blink. They're bloodthirsty sons of curse, mark my words. I did say I'd come to help you, but that doesn't mean I'm willing to battle with both Korra's and beasts in order to do so. Forgive me for saying, but I expected more zeal from you, sir. Anyone of my shields would piss on their mother for a chance to fight in Ash's honor. I mean, I serve Tunon, not the disfavored. So send them to die for Ash's honor. I have more critical issues to worry about as a fate binder. And I have a friend who's a beast woman. Alpha is right. Pack should be hunting ironclads, not beast women. Sir, then what did you come here for? Can set you to digging the latrine, sir, should you find it more suitable to one of your invaluable ranks, sir? Not sure I like your tone, soldier. Sir, with all due respect, sir, I'm not sure what you mean, sir. Can you quit it, Cadiz? He's incorrigible. Don't enable him. For now, we will leave this... No. Uh. Eh. Alright, I guess that worked. What can you tell me about Karen's demise? Only that I've heard he's not dead yet. And I mean that. You can hear him at night, shuddering and moaning like the wind through the mountains. The Shakers can tell you best why they've been treating him, keeping him alive. It's experimental, not restorative. I assure you, as I've already assured Ash, it's for examination and learning purposes only. There is yet much knowledge and power to be gleaned from our forebearer. You assemble a base of operations around the carriage remains. Obviously. I mean, not so obvious, but sure. Why do you think Cairn betrayed his orders? Did he uh, have more lofty ambitions like me? Why would anyone? The world's full of vices to tempt a soldier. Booze, brothels, betting. I figure earth magic must be a damn mire of a drug to tempt an archon from duty. Guess they aren't so inhuman after all. Hmm, I have to gain ma more fear. Maybe I shouldn't have brought Kill the Shadows in for this bit. But uh, brought her back when we uh, went into the lands of the Beastmen. That's what I like to hear, sir. Fastest route through Stone Down Gorge. Of course, the air is swarming with cores and beats alike. Carve us a path and we'll follow close on your heels. Get us there in one piece and I'll name my broadsword in your, no your honor. We'll slay enough to, of them to have an armory named after us before long. I suppose I could stand for a few more swords named Barrack out in circulation. Barrack people have named weapons after you. They have indeed. The corps that followed me across Apex and Stalwart took a liking to how I handled myself in battle. I'm big enough that I can heft broadswords other found unwieldy. They added weights to their training sticks to toughen up and started naming their assigned blades after me. Though I imagine most of those blades were lost or destroyed in the Edict of Storms. I left too many friends and too much of myself in the ruins of old stalwarts. I'll be on my way. Can't thank you enough, sir. You don't know the world of difference this makes. We'll prep for heading out. Holler if you need us, and but don't count on us to save your ass. Our duty is to protect the Shakers, so we'll be trailing a ways behind. Fatebinder, should you arrive before us, which I'm almost assured you will, you'll need this code. The Siddle of Cairn's forgotten name, to gain entry into the compound. Pay attention, for it is quite an intric intricate sigil. Alright, so we got a sigil right here. Show to the guards and they will know that you are one of us. How very clever, a name only the true disciples would understand and appreciate. Practice! That is good! Cool, we got it. And we unlocked a new 
map for us to explore. Also, everyone seems to have leveled up in the last episode, I think it was. So let's give Barrick some more attributes. I'm thinking more in way of bonus health. No. Accuracy. No. Mm, yeah, accuracy. That would work. Eb, you want more quickness? All in on quickness for you. Kelsey Shadows, you seem to have pretty good accuracy, so I'm gonna go with more attack. Even more attack, sure. Let's get that up to a 20 when we can. As for talents, we have enough to unlock the final tier of Barrack Sentinel Tree. Heal all nearby allies and gain a damage absorption shield proportional to the health recovered. That sounds pretty awesome. I'll take it. Eb! I want you. We don't have enough to uh, get the last one, but I'm not sure we actually want it. Maybe we'll go more Gravelight. I did already unlock the Arcane Missile attack. Gain bonus armor while Eb is wearing light armor. That could be good. Lift the target into the air and violently throw them back. Crush damage. Cause each enemy in a cone to trigger an explosion of grave light energy. That sounds great. I'll take that. More AoE. And kills in shadows. More Ravager. Ravager is good. Ravager is life. Armor penetration of unarmed attacks. I mean, if we're using the two-hander, that doesn't really help us. Although I do have... A lot invested into unarmed. Maybe I should stop using a weapon. Maybe. Maybe. Leaping death. Can I use leaping death while I have a weapon? I think so. So let's use that instead. Significantly increases critical hit damage by leaping death. And a bonus to damage afterwards. Oh, we do have more points. How about more... Oh, so Ravager is like the unarmed DPS, and Titan is more of a tank slash weapon wielder. Strike force really with a weapon. Yes. Attacks from stealth cause bleed and heal over time. That could be great. Untamed Might. That's unarmed, though. Kills and Shadows uses two-handed weapons as one-handed. Oh, that's why. I said in the last episode she was using uh, uh, because she's so big, it looked like she was using the two-handed as one-handed. And I guess that's like a feature. Let's take that. I'm kind of regretting the investment in the uh, Ravager tree now, but sure. Let's head to the world map. And go to Stone Down Gorge. Oh, we got more quakes. Also, since we unlocked the new um, spell creation core, Vigor, I'm feeling like that is a good school to give to Kills and Shadows. Because I do want to give her something. Let's see what we have here. We got the Titan's Touch, which is a buff. Could be good. We got a Surge of Glory. An allied AoE. 30% damage for 20 seconds. Sounds pretty good to me. We got another AoE. So it seems like Vigor is a lot of buffs. That sounds great. First, let's give her Surge of Glory. Along with a um, duration, I think. That's not it. This is it. 75 lore, though. The base one is 40, and she only has 23. What about the, uh, this one? That only takes 15. And with a duration, 50. Can I sock it in any accent with the budget we have? Almost that one, the range. That's not very useful. So let's assign her the base. As well as a healing spell of her own. Restoring touch only takes 15. Done. 
We also unlocked, what was the other one? Uh, it was Atrophy. Eh. Not too uh, sold on that school, anyway. Maybe I'll take a look at it, but not right now. Now, I want to explore this place. Oh, we got Scarlet Chorus. Now, let's see if this new attack is any good. Ooh, hello. Comes crashing down, dealing damage. Wait, so like, it's on everyone in this range? No, I have to um, assign a target. But use Leaping Death as a um, opener. And Barrick, Sorry about that. get in here and uh, pull them all. <laughs> nice. And then activate our uh, combo ability. Not on that one. That one is almost dead. Participant busy. Let's do this. Come on. Combo! Oh! Oh, so Card did it! I thought for sure it was gonna be Kilt and Shadows. Also, you guys are blind as heck over here. But I'll take it. Kill him! Kill him good! Then, if we get out of combat. Can we get out of combat? There we go. Attack! Heads up, we have company. Nice! And we could try out <laughs> Ebb's new grave out. We're gonna have to, have to slot that in. Is there anyone I don't use a lot? Phantom Bolt, I guess? Repelling Blast. I'm not gonna use that one too much. So let's try to slot in... Didn't I get a new uh, ability? On Ebb? Am I just... Wait, wait a second here. Uh, I unlocked that. I didn't slot in... I'm pretty sure... Ah, screw it. Never mind. Let's try to use Titan's Touch as much as we can to get that XP. Oh, you already killed him. I don't think we get XP if it's out of combat. I'd have it no other way. Also, fast mode, please. I'll stay downwind of our enemies. What can I do here? This crystal fragment glows brighter than its nearby brethren. It's firmly embedded. Oh, so I can like push it over? Oh, okay. But what did that do? Did I get a fragment of it? I didn't see a pop-up. Also, I did uh, when I was uh, checking the render or the editing in the last episode. There was an item we got somewhere. For one of the um, quests. But what was it? I was like, oh, we didn't get anything from that. But then I noticed that I just missed the um, pop-up. Well, I guess it got put in the stash or something. I can't remember the name of it right now. But we did get something. And I just missed it. Oh, hello. What in Kyrus's name are you plotting, boss? Why'd you kill those choirmen up ahead? Don't try to deny it, my gal post Pustule saw it all. That's not a very nice name to have. Run! Run while you still have legs to carry you. Frigging piss! It's in his favorite binder! Furies at arms at arms! Shit, shit, damn! Help! That was a sorry display. We should put this terrified rodent out of its misery. I mean, that was a lot of bravado you uh, tried to have, and then it fell apart quite quickly. Buff yourself. Cart, where are you? You're right there. So now might be a good time for a pushback on him. 
Didn't work! Well, never mind then. Hard, get in there. I want to do one of these. Kills and Shadows, you can uh, take care of business right there. Oh shit, oh shit. Eb, heal yourself. Jesus. That damn archer. Kills and Shadows, attack the archer. Oh, Storm Wheel. That sounds like a good idea. Is that a combo ability? Ooh. That was a good one, though. Whatever it was. Kill the archer. This is useless. I should try something else. Oh, they're both archers. Beric, try to uh, taunt the other one. And then striking iron. <laughs> Gotta remember to protect our weakest links, which in this time is Ebb and Cards. Possibly Ebb even more so. Because Card is a BAM, so let's be honest. Welcome back to the fight, Ebb. Scarlet Fury Armor. Oh, a trap. Oh, they killed some beastmen over here. Although those looks like Scarlet Fury or Chorus. Bronze Maze Horde Boots. What is up here? A body. Plants Zeal. Is that a legendary dagger? Might be. Let's go back down. Let's try not to Don't stand seem out, to be uh, finding anything up here. Now, keep going. Oh, spotted some secrets. Sigil of Illusion. We already know that one. But let's have a nap so we can grab that. Oh, enemies are in sight. Where? Oh, up there. How about now? Will now work? Now will work! And then grab the camping supply. Whew. I mean, the camping supply situation is kind of awkward because you get so many camping supplies and uh, the cap is only eight. I mean, back at the spire, at, <laughs> especially back at the spire, I have like a hundred of those camping supplies uh, being made for me without me asking for it. So every time I go to pick up supplies, there's a uh, waste of camping supplies. Sage's journal entry. The route indicated on the map I acquired leads straight through a den of beasts. Sure, I'll take it. So maybe that gives me some hint how to get to Aspire. We got a boulder. I will use the athletics. For the XP! Ah! We got some uh, uh, water out of the way. And we got some gems out of it. Nice. And I can't get over here, no. Alright, I guess this is the only way to go. I feel like this should be a trap. Like, just have some earth-shaking magic pop this down. If someone you don't like is crossing it. I guess not. Now, there's a Scarlet Chorus person up there. Possibly has some friends as well. Charcoal rubbing, yay. The parchment contains a partial rubbing of a rune for the Aurora Spire. Cool. What no is this? Do. This structure was destroyed by earthquakes and picked apart by scavengers. What about this? Extract more crystals. 
Did I get anything this time? What am I getting from this? Oh, maybe that these things. Yes, Azure Lift Shard. It is capable of holding a large amount of magical energy. I mean, that could be useful. Let's see what it's for. Once we find something. How do I get over here? Was there a way to cross over here? There's that. But I don't see a way across. What did the journal say? That we picked up. My journey to the dawn-inspired Howling Rock continues. The route indicated by the map, straight through uh, the only obstacle. No, not really. What if we go back up? Is there a way down here? Maybe. Slow and steady. Yes. Good. All right, Barrick, get on in there. More and kill the shadows. Leap on top of this blood chanter in the back, while Cart prepares for some AOE action. Get on in there, Cart. And AOE you. Then AOE you. Kill the shadows, did he do it? No, he did not. How about you do this again? That is a nice attack, I like it. Stampede! No, I want to use, not Skyblade, Breaking Iron on the uh, Blood Chanter. Can you get over there? Cart, move out. Move out of the way. There we go. Then I want you to focus on him. Primal Scream! That takes care of that. Perfect! Alright, I think this is gonna be another one of those shards. Yep. Then we can climb up here. Oh, hello. A friendly beastman. Can we move down here? Yes, we can. But I want to check up the corpse up here first. So this is probably where the beastman den is. That we have to go through to get to the um, spire. Just a pollen? Let's try not to stand out, shall we? Well, I'll take it. Now, there were two spires in this area that we need to claim. Oh, that is a trap. Spotted something. Any secrets? Cut the banter and stay low. No secrets. Do not move, human. Explain or die. Why has human come seeking from Stone Stalker Den? I mean, I have uh, uh, Kill the Shadows with me. And I'm pretty much your alpha, so why are you even questioning me right here? A fate finder's business is of no concern of you, Mutt. Then maybe this fate finder will die of no concern, yes? Beast Woman Guards Tribe will not step aside. We'll ask again, why has human come to Stone Stalker Den? To threaten Alpha is to threaten Kills and Shadow. Move, Beast Woman. Let important hunters through. Kills and Shadows is Kif. Can attest for human called Fate Finder. What she said. Come, enter, but do not seek to cause strife. Prima Hundred Blood will want to speak with strange smelling humans. Thank you. I knew it would pay off to bring Kills and Shadows with us. Does this count as strife? Me stealing your stuff? Ah, beast cubs! That's adorable. Can I like bridge this? I can jump, but I don't want to do that. Blackmaw! Hi. 
Human, speak or leave Beast Woman be. What's with the whelps? Our Black Moss, our strong good whelps, smart cubs, have grown big but are only two seasons old. It's nearly for whelps to leave Boothole and roam loose, but Prima needed Den to cage humans who hunted Elder Teeth. What are Elder Teeth? Pride of Stonestalker Mystics. Oh, the crystals! Cool. I knew I have three of those, I think. What do the stone stalkers care about these elder teeth? Elder teeth are strength of stone stalkers. Brood hole! Actually, never mind, I don't want to know. This hole where brood are kept. Got anything else to talk about? A history lesson? Nah. I mean, can I challenge Prima for alpha status? That might be a thing to do. Speaks for soil. So are you like a farmer? She's a mystic. She has no time to talk to us. Oh, what did I just find? Where? Where is it? Right Do there. Eyes on this? Moonstone. So I'm guessing the uh, Prima is going to be in that cave over there. Well, let's check out this path first then. Stone Warden. Rift Dig! Looks like ironclad but are weak. Why would ironclad disfavored slaughter innocent travelers on the roadways, like you say? How would beastmen know? Okay, I'll look into uh, what you saw. Greystone Valley unlocked. We might have some more... Oh, there's hundred blood. Maybe I shouldn't go there just yet then. What about you? You got anything cool? These people you've chained up, what crimes have they committed? They trespassed. Hundred Blood says to keep humans. Prima will decide what to do with humans, whether to kill or release. Humans seemed interested in trespassers. Mm, I've been sent to find a group of missing settlers. I believe they are these captives. Makes no difference to the tribes. I wish to free these captives. Three weeks sniveling humans and be punished by Prima? No. Beast Woman thinks not. I mean, I saved your friend Left Claw in Half Gate, so you can owe me. Free them. Left Claw has returned to tribe. Human speaks true. Tribe will return favor, will release humans. Good. I'll see that they make it to safety. Be warned, next when humans trespass in Stonestalker lands, Beast Woman will not capture them. We'll hunt humans to death instead. That might help relations with the um, people as well. Wait, didn't I just negotiate the settlers release? I'm pretty sure I did. Fatebinder! Fatebinder, please! These beasts took us from the plains. They're holding us against our wills. It's only a matter of time until they kill and eat us. The Stone Stalkers have agreed to free you in payment of a debt owed to me. Archons be praised. Thank you, and thank you a thousand times more, Fatebinder. We won't forget what you've done for us. Minor favor? Jeez. That's a bit stingy, isn't it? Should have been major. But I guess they're free to go. Good. Let's be now, do you have any uh, secrets Slow over here? And steady. Guess not. All right, we are ready to talk to Hundred Blood, and then hopefully find a spire inside or through their lands, which is probably going to be over here, right? However, that is going to be a tale for another day. 
it would really help out if you would hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment below and share the videos around. Everything helps to get the channel growing, which helps me out as well. Thank you for watching, I will see you guys next time.